Jeremiah Ems of EmsComputerArt.com. I began with a canvas upon which I had painted a landscape and mostly burnt umber which I did not like. Wiping out the wet paint and allowing it to dry gave me a mottled brown ground upon which to paint a portrait. I decided upon a fantasy portrait of Boris Karloff as the mummy because it would allow me to demonstrate my brushwork. I accomplished a 12-minute sketch with a piece of white chalk and then began applying white paint to get highlights and some midtones, leaving the brown for my shadow shapes. The white I used was soft mixing white from Windsor & Newton, which holds brushwork well but takes a long time to dry. Everything was done freehand, and no great care was devoted to accuracy, leaving the cranium taller than it should have been. But as this was a personal project of mine, I did not think it worth shortening, as I actually preferred the more cerebral look it gave to the creature, who was portrayed as still asleep. Leaving the white paint to dry for a few weeks, I then turned to the background. It was also sketched in chalk quickly from a photo reference and painted with raw umber very dark shade mixed with white and yellow ochre with hints of burnt umber for rusty tones, leaving the brown again for shadows and using white for highlights. When this was done, especially dark areas were strengthened with pure raw umber very dark shade substituting for black. The background was accomplished in two or three sittings.
The next and final stage involved mixing a medium of Damar varnish and cold-pressed linseed oil. I used this medium to deepen the shadows with that same dark umber and force more depth. The cool transparent shadows now laid over the brown ground. The brown now served as a highlight within the darkened shadows. While doing this I was sure to keep the contrast between the lights and darks within the shadows low. I signed the piece and I was done. It is now dry and ready for the final varnish, but I'll photograph it before that to lessen sheen so that it photographs more properly. In 1932, Universal Pictures released The Mummy, played by the master Boris Karloff. The plot of the movie involves an ancient political evil, the Prince Imhotep, reawakened to wreak havoc on the modern age. The tyrannies of the past are constantly threatening to reemerge, as old political alliances never die, and politicians seem to live forever. We must never allow impeached persons to re-enter the places of power reserved for a free people nor should we allow their spouses or children to reign in their stead. American government was not designed for familial aristocracies. Kennedys, Bushes, and Clintons, and those they endorse like the Obamas, have been reigning over this country for far too long. It seems their curse re-emerges in every administration in some form or another. Members of their families holding top positions in government continually for well over a half a century now. The curse they placed on America is still spanning the decades, despite the fact that their continual warmongering and scandal and theft from the American people is well known to all. This can only be explained by the influence of a supernatural evil, which is fed by their corruption and ruthless ambition, so that they are carried forward by the very actions which demonstrate their disregard for human life. Those who would aid their return to power are like them, being not full of light and life, but instead darkness and death, being like dead men's bones wrapped in linen that bind America to that horrid fate upon the return of those animated only by the power of evil which drives them forward for selfish purposes. Life is precious, and those who celebrate death are of the evil one, and their names are more likely found in the Egyptian Book of the Dead than in the Lamb's Book of Life. As Christians, it is our responsibility to keep evil at bay as we are the salt of the earth. Judgment begins at the house of God, so that we Christians are the group most held responsible by God for the path the countries we live in may take. We must vote therefore accordingly, for God judges us not by the choice of others, but by the way we choose to go. Choose you this day whom ye will serve, as for me and my house we will serve the Lord.